All right, class, so this is uh, Monday's homework help video. Today you are working on multiplying decimals. When you multiply decimals, unlike adding and subtracting decimals, you do not line up by the decimal. However, you line up by the number. So here, we're going to line, line up by the number, put four. It just so happens that in this case, guess what? The decimals automatically line up, okay? And that happens. All right, that happens sometimes. The decimals might line up, but you do not have to line up by the decimal. Instead, you line up by the number. Okay, so the numbers need to be right up under each other. Okay, so we got 4 times 5, which is 20. Then 4 times 0, which is 0, plus 2 is 2. When you move to the second number, you put a 0 in this place value first, and now you multiply the second number. I'm going to get rid of this. And now I have 5 times 5 is 25. You put your 5 here. You carry your 2. And then 5 times 0 is 0. And then plus 2 is going to give me 2. Now my last step with multiplication is to add this, these numbers together. This is 5, 6, 7. Remember, it's okay to use your fingers and your toes, okay? Um, you have one decimal space in this answer. You see how it's one decimal space here? You have one decimal space in this answer, one space behind the decimal in that and that number as well. You add the total number of decimal spaces, which is two, and that's how many decimal spaces you should have in your answer. One, start from the back, one, two. So your answer is going to be 2.7 or 2.70. This is your answer, okay? Now let's multiply number two. Line up by the number, not the decimal. The two goes under the five. The zero goes here. It just so happens, guess what? Just so happens that the decimals are also lined up, okay? But they don't have to be. The numbers have to be lined up. 2 times 5 is going to give me 10, okay? Then 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is going to be 5, okay? All right, when you multiply 0, it's going to be 0, so there's no need to even multiply 0. Anything, anytime you multiply 0 times a number, it's 0. So we're done multiplying. How many decimal spaces are here? One decimal space here. How many decimal spaces here? It's one space behind the decimal in this number as well. Add the total number of decimal spaces, and that gives us two. So we, have, we should have two in our answer. Start from the back, and then one, two. So our answer here is either 0.5 or 0.50, okay? All right, number three. Again, we're going to line up by the number. We have one. 0.25 or 1 in 25 hundredths. We're going to put our 5 here, decimal here, and 0. Do you see how I lined up by the number, not the decimal? All right, so now we have 5 times 5, that's 25, carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is going to be 12, carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, okay? How many decimal spaces here? We got two decimal spaces here and one decimal space here, okay? That's going to be a total of three decimal spaces. Start from the back of the number, move one, two, three times. So my answer here is going to be a decimal, 625 thousandths, because the five is in the thousandths place. All right, so we got those. Please make sure that you show your work here. All right, have a good one. Bye.